it's a question why someone like him, who, well, he says, he denies that he has any um, mm. connections and contacts to Vladimir Putin, so you've got to be careful here. But why can they just continue their lifestyle? Um, it, it's, it's a bit, it's a legal question and also a, mainly a, a moral mm. question. And the Treasury have ruled that Russian oligarch, <coughs> excuse me, Petra Avin, can have £60,000 a month to maintain his lifestyle pay debts and school fees. And now before I ask you, you know, because it's a serious point, obviously, um, before I ask you what, what, how you, would you be able to spend 60K a month? Stephanie, the, the serious point here, really, these are people who've been sanctioned. What, why should they be allowed to maintain their previous lifestyle? Isn't that the point of sanctioning that it's supposed to make life difficult? Again, I think you, as far as I understand the case, you also have to distinguish a little bit because that's also him paying off debt. So um, there's the, the legitimate question why private schools or mm. anybody who has um, he has bought things from, whether it's art or a fridge or tennis lessons or whatever, why mm. shouldn't they be paid? So this debt must be paid off. Secondly, I think he must have very, very good lawyers. Obviously, he still can pay his lawyers because he won some some court case. But then thirdly, yes, of course, it's it's a question why someone like him who, well, he says he denies that he has any um, mm. connections and contacts to Vladimir Putin. So you've got to be careful here. But why can they just continue their lifestyle? Um, it, it's, it's a bit, it's a legal question and also a, mainly a, a moral mm. question. But again, I think it's important that they can pay their debts. Uh, Remy, where do you stand on this uh, moral and legal question? I think, uh, generally speaking, this just sends a terrible message. It just really reads bad if people read uh, in, in the paper that you know an oligarch is able to uh, spend them at sixty thousand pounds again during a period when there's a cost of living crisis and people are struggling to pay their energy bills, which have not have been. Uh, um, uh, risen to a significant extent because of Russia's invasion in mm. Ukraine, even though this individual is said not to have uh, or, or says he doesn't have uh, personal links uh, to put it. I think it just reads terribly. And I think for the average citizen who hears about it, they'll just say, you know, it seems the UK government isn't really serious about punishing about punishing uh, Russian oligarchs, whatever the real practical reality may be. But it, it's a terrible headline. Mm. Yeah.